Did you know that Wix has a very cool tool that allows you to index your website in the Google just by a few clicks of your mouse. Hello everybody, I'm Gabriel here with another Wix tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to index your website in uh, Google search. Alright, very exciting stuff today. Now you already know the free Wix drag and drop website builder has very powerful tools like uh, enabling you to customize a mobile website very easily and also adding a WhatsApp button to your mobile version like I showed you in the last tutorial. But this tool right here, this tool is very powerful. And in fact, this tool is not free. You will need to upgrade your website to a premium plan to be able to use this tool. It's called the SEO Wiz. It's called the SEO Wizard. <laughs> oh, sorry. SEO Wiz. But in fact, I think it's the Wizard because it's, uh, it has some magic into it so if you want to access this tool go to your home page and then press to the left hand sidebar you, are, you have to look for seo tools under marketing okay under marketing and seo look for seo tools so once you have uh, the seo tools now in this video i expect you to have a website already because i've been showing you how to create a website since since 2020 something so anyway, to get started with your SEO journey and get found on Google. So the SEO Wiz tool is going to simply ask you a few questions and then it will, in the background, personalize a checklist of tasks that you need to do to be able to uh, rank highly in the Google search engines. So to do that, simply click on the get started button. And the first question is, where do you serve your customers? Do you have like a shop where you want first customers to come or do you, sell, do you sell all your stuff online, online services like bookings? So in this case, I'll choose I serve customers on a specific address and then you have to add your address if you choose that option. And if you choose the online option, you have to add a website or some other link. Next. Which keywords do you want to use in your checklist? If you know a thing about SEO and if you don't know anything about SEO, you should check out MgaryMan.com. There's a post about digital marketing that can teach you a few stuff about SEO and how you can uh, rank your website in the search engines. Anyway, so if you know a little bit about SEO, you know about keywords. So in this question, you need to add keywords that here's how you think about it. Come up with the keywords that you think people are going to search in the Google to find your stuff. What do you think people are typing in? So these are the keywords that uh, Wix is asking you to be able to help you rank higher in the, the search engines. So here is an easy way to find the keywords. If you type in, if you go to Google and type in, and you type in the most obvious word for your business, the most obvious uh, keyword for your business, You'll find, if you scroll down to the footer, you'll find some other keywords which are related searches. Those are some of the keywords that you can use. And next, if you just, if you just got the website called Trends, Google Trends, which you can visit by click, by typing trends.google.com. If you go to that website and then you type in the keyword for your business, for your industry, you'll get insights for which country that you want. You can choose a country and then you can choose a period whether it's uh, the past 12 months or the past uh, five years, you can choose to see the search volume for this keyword and which countries have been searching this keyword. Very cool stuff there. Even when you type in in the Google and then you just uh, leave the cursor there, you bring more options for your suggestions. The suggestions can be used. And uh, some other tools that you can use, Uber Suggest, Onel Patel, similar web, and many others. So if we go back to our SEO Wiz tool, we can uh, paste some of those keywords right here. And by the way, they don't have to be like one uh, word or two. Even three words can make a whole keyword that can help you rank. So here is a quick tip about SEO. There's something called long tail and short tail keywords. So long tail is the keyword with more than two words. Short tail and then uh, there's also something called phrase. So a phrase would be maybe just one word and then two words would be like a short tail and then three or more words would be a long tail keyword. All right, so once you put your keywords, you click on the next 
button and then SEO the SEO wizard tool will do its work, will do its magic in the background. And just like that, a quick SEO setup checklist will be uh, created for you. So what you want to do is click on the go for it button to start setting up this stuff. And if you want, you can set up these keywords from your desktop, uh, from your website editor, from the Wix website editor. But if you want, you can just choose the recommendations down here and then just click on the connect now, which will take you to connect to Google. So before we connect to Google, why are we going through all this? Connecting to the Google search engines will help you first of all to index your site so that people can find you, so that cust potential customers can find you when they are searching stuff on Google related to your business, related to your industry. Another thing is you get access to the Google Search Console. Okay, Google Search Console helps you to monitor uh, your website performance and the search results that are coming in. It tells you which pages are performing the best and where the traffic is coming from. Like the Google Analytics tool which tells you uh, which devices they are using, where they are located, all that good stuff. In one of the last videos we talked about uh, SEO, Google Analytics and how to install it in your web WordPress website using the Gsite Kit plugin. If you haven't checked that out, <laughs> I don't know what you are waiting for. <laughs> Anyway, so to connect your site to Google, you need to connect your Google account. So just like I mentioned earlier, SEO is an ongoing process. Once you, we have finished to uh, index the website on Google, you will still need to do a lot of stuff by customizing various pages. What you want to do with the SEO is a checklist that has been created for you is you go through the pages and add one or two of those keywords that you have listed in your SEO is setup. So you make sure all the pages, especially the home page and the about us page has uh, some of those keywords that you have listed or that you have chosen. And uh, don't worry about it because you can change those keywords whenever you want. You can customize the keywords however you want. That's how you index your website on Google using the Wix SEO Wiz tool. And if you want to do it on a website editor, all you need to do is uh, choose the page, go to the page, and then go to the menu and each of these pages in the menu there's a button there there's this button with the dots which you can click on and go to seo settings and then you can set up your seo and don't forget to publish your website once you have made any changes to your website so that they can be live in the search engines all right so i hope that video was helpful and uh if it was be sure to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Many of your friends are out there looking for stuff like this, how to index their website in the search engines, how to find more traffic. So if you do them a favor and share the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't and hit the bell notification button. That way when I release a new video, you'll be notified. Alright, thank you very much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.